Hello! Welcome back to my portrait painting YouTube channel. My name is Josh Atkinson, and it is the holiday season. If you saw last week, I did this portrait of, um, of an escaped lunatic from uh, the a Christmas episode of Tales from the Dark Side. Uh, this week, this video is going to post, this video is going to post on uh, Christmas Day. So I gave myself the present of painting a still life. Now, this is a portrait painting uh, channel. Um, sorry for the glare, this is still wet. Um, but it is a gift for me to do a still life because I haven't done one in 10 years, literally, like I counted. I haven't painted in 10 years uh, a still life. And stupidly, I thought, well, why don't we start with something easy, like round chrome uh, with lots of fabric texture. Anyway, I'm an idiot. Let's see, um, let's see the mistakes I make. So this is not a precise source image, but it's basically the setup. I couldn't get it to look exactly the way it did from the angle that my eyes were at, but it's close enough. So time lapse time. I've got a gray ground and, um, in the spirit of giving of Christmas, I'm gifting you with a lesson. Um, I, I intentionally filmed the first two minutes and 30 seconds of this time lapse um, um, out of focus I intentionally. Um, that was too close. I had to move it. Um, but yes, this was a, a wise and intentional decision on my part because I'm teaching you the value of squinting. Uh, you, you squint especially at the beginning of a painting, to eliminate detail, so you just see broad sections of light and dark, and you can all probably tell that I'm lying. This was absolutely not intentional. I don't even know what I did, but my, um, my hand is in focus, my manicure is in focus, which frankly is a fantastic holiday manicure, and yes, I did it myself. Um, it goes for the first two and a half minutes of the time lapse. Um, you can skip ahead if you want to, but this actually is a valuable like thing to consider. Uh, you should be squinting throughout because detail is what gets us all hung up and squinting causes any object to just be its light side, its shadow side. But regardless, that's, that's the situation. Um, I think I said in the intro, maybe it was the outro, who knows, that I have not painted a still life in 10 years, which is psychotic and factual. Um, this uh, it, it, painting still life always made me so happy. It was the closest thing to like something being meditative or contemplative in painting. I know painting shouldn't be stressful, but but whatever, I mean, when something's important to you, it, it, it takes on some pressure. So, um, so yeah, so I, um, well, I'm an idiot, and I decided that since I haven't painted a still life in 10 years, because I've been so focused on portraits, that I should, I should, what should I start with? Should I start with an apple, or maybe, or maybe like, um, a coffee mug, or maybe I should start with round chrome. And not only round chrome, but I should surround it in a white sheet with folds all through. Oh, there you go. Now we're in focus. You're welcome. I'm glad that we all, we all, uh, you all got learned that important lesson that I intended to teach intentionally. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. So here we are. I am contending with the fact that chrome is reflective. And, uh, and so I'm adding... I'm trying to, I am squinting, uh, creating like the suggestion. If you look, especially in the green one, you can kind of see that what that black or dark image in the middle is my head. It's me kind of uh, sitting and painting. But um, I also painted in this line through them. That was a reflection of this tall standing pipe in my art studio, my art studio, my atelier, my laundry room. Um, it's a pipe. I painted out later because it was confusing the image. It started to look like it was um, an indentation in the ornament themselves itself. And here I just painted in the reflections of the ornaments within the ornaments. It's more visible in the green one, probably because it's a lighter color. 
I, I don't know if that's true. I don't understand science. I don't know how to keep a camera in focus, but that's my um, guess. So yeah, when you're painting white, and I love painting white because white contains potentially every color, you kind of have to squint. Again, the lesson of the day, you have to uh, determine is the white yellow tinged? Is it orange tinged? Is it blue tinged? So that you can add a bit of that color um, to the white so that the, uh, the shadow within the white in the folds here, you know what to make it out of. So I added a bit of yellow ochre to the titanium white of this um, fabric sheet, and uh, that then, using yellow, I, I applied complementary color theory for the shadows, and I, I got some dioxazine purple, mixed it with the yellow ochre, and created some uh, first indications of the shadow in the white sheet with that. Uh, the green ornament is mostly viridian green. The red ornaments are a mixture of... Um, uh, I'm talking about the body tones of um, uh, cadmium red and permanent rose, just to cool it down a bit. And those are most of the colors that I used. I'm not going to always list all the colors because it's more important that you understand the principles of using complementary colors. Um, that's that's kind of more valuable. There's no black in this painting, but the uh, only quote quote unquote teacher that I ever had, who was named Helen Van Wyck. She was a, a a painter on on PBS years ago. She um she was very happy to use black. Um, I don't really do that, but I did end up getting a little bit of my black substitute, which is a mixture of burnt umber and uh, ultramarine blue. I, I I used that a bit just to darken some of the shadows on the white fabric because. Because yeah, there there it is. You can see like they just needed the value was too light. Um, it wasn't credible. Um, Chelsea Lang, who's a probably my favorite YouTube portrait or anything painter, uh, she uses that phrase a, a credible likeness, which I really enjoy. So I steal it. It's more important to get a credible likeness than to get, you know, this exact perfect match that looks like a photograph, because if you wanted a photograph, you could use a camera. These are paintings. Ramble, ramble, prattle. So I'm painting the reflections, as you see right now, of the sheet into the um, ornaments. And I'm, because I, I looked at it again and I realized that the highlight and the uh, the light, the, the value of lightness on the sheet, they really weren't all that different. So here I lighten them up a bit. This whole painting, you know, I'm an idiot for choosing chrome to, to, to get back into still life. Um, this whole painting is, is me fighting with painting what I see, but then having to, like with that standing pipe, having to look at it more objectively and and see what is and isn't community. There was a fold in the, in the reflection that I just got rid of because it wasn't reading. So it's not just a question of painting what you see. You have to make sure that what you are rendering is translating. That's hard to do when you're staring at it for hours, but um, that's why you gotta walk away. So anyway, I had a blast doing this. I had doubts and insecurities and, and psychodramas, and they were lots of fun. And um, and I'll have them again when I, when I paint something too ambitious in the future. I tend to always do that. And, uh, but yeah, I, I, I had a blast and my nails really do look fantastic. So this is the final image. Forgive any um, uneven lumpiness. I don't have it on. It's still wet, so it's kind of taped to a sheet and it's not super smooth. So that is how, so glossy, so wet. Um, that is how we arrived at this painting of some uh, uh, Christmas ornaments, and I hope you got something out of it. I hope that you are having, if you celebrate, you're having a wonderful Christmas or whatever holiday you may or may not celebrate. Um, I hope it's all wonderful. I hope everything's wonderful, and if it's not, try to talk to somebody is my unasked for advice. 
But anyway, um, yeah, uh, please like and subscribe and leave a comment so I know what to prattle about next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.